वेलकम टू न्यूट्री लाइफ एंड न्यूट्री लाइफ योगा टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू सूर्य नमस्कार सूर्य नमस्कार इज आई थिंक बेटर यू एक्सप्लेन आई वाज वेटिंग फॉर हिम टू डू सम ब्लूपर सो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू न्यूट्री लाइफ योगा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस 10 राउंड्स ऑफ सूर्य नमस्कार इंक्लूडिंग लॉट्स ऑफ वेरिएशन इन इन इट नाउ इफ यू हैव बीन पार्ट ऑफ आवर सेशंस बिफोर एज यू नो दैट वी हैव बीन गाइडिंग एंड इंस्ट्रक्टिंग teaching yoga since more than 3 years around 3 years and if you have ever attended our sessions you know how fun it is to practice surya namaskar along with the variations yeah if you have not, never tried surya namaskar before or if you are new to our channel if you are new to, new to nutri life also then please stick uh, to the basic start with the basic we are going to demonstrate slightly heavier uh, than the beginner level version but you can do it at your own pace and we are going to demonstrate the variation and the modification also yeah so uh, no matter if you are at a beginner or at intermediate level you have tried surya namaskar before or not you can always try and practice this okay now this man is uh, i have been teaching and guiding him uh, yoga since quite a few months and i think now he is all ready uh, that i am going to instruct and he is going to do and this pretty face is going to be in front of camera and all he is going to do is just practice yoga easy right and some board poses now if you know what board poses is you know we already have board pose lovers club and board pose haters club now i don't know in which club he is going to be there but he is a good to go uh, and i i can rely on him that he will practice and demonstrate much better okay so let's start we are going to start with the surya namaskar that is also known as traditional hatha yoga surya namaskar okay so there are 10 rounds of it in total you have to practice 20 rounds so each round contain from right side and left side two half rounds can um, consist of one complete round okay you can start with the slow if you are not able to do it just go according to your capacity yeah let's start sure okay so coming to the front of the mat okay. ready mohammad yes. okay let's start as you exhale join your hands inhale hands up stretch to the back inhale coming back to center lengthen your spine bend forward and down okay yeah now then bend your knees bend your glutes take your one leg back this is this pose is known as ashwa sanchalana now his left leg is forward he has taken his right leg back so this is the right side turn now take your left leg back coming into phalangasan breathe continue to hold into plank get your knees down push the ground chest and chin down inhale to cobra exhale to parvat okay taking your leg forward coming into ashwa sanchalana okay both the leg parallel try to stay as low as you can keeping your hand keeping your neck relax hands loose okay inhale lift up stretch to the back exhale and release okay so this was the round one from the right side now the round two round one from the left side exhale just changing the size uh, sides of the leg inhale coming back to center rest all the positions all the poses are same okay now he's going to take his left leg back bend your knees bend your glutes ashwa sanchalana if you are uh, new to this you can keep your knee down okay take your leg back coming into phalangasana now everyone know that i am being kind of here mohammad also knows because as we are going to move further we are going to increase the intensity and the rounds also get your knees down and variation also push the ground chest and chin down inhale to cobra bhujangasan keep your knees elbows bent shoulders relaxed exhale to parvatasan try and shift your uh, position of your leg okay if you want you can just move your feet little forward try not to change the position of your palm okay so try to press your middle back this is a great way to stretch your complete body it has lots of benefit parvatasana okay take your leg forward coming into ashwa sanchalana both the legs parallel to padasthasana forward fold now you can keep your knees slightly bent here if you are unable to keep it straight okay you can choose as per your capacity completely okay inhale hands up exhale okay uh now round 2 from the right side exhale 
stretch to the back inhale hands up continue to keep breathing through your nose remember breathing here is very important now take your knees uh, bend your knees bend your glutes take your one leg back this is ashu sanchalana low lunge pose take your leg back coming into phalankasan this is also known as plank position now try to move your body forward and backward so no just try to keep in plank position just moving forward and backward on your toes on your toes one ha huh, keep your knees glutes down only two don't let your glutes up three four move forward and backward five just activating your ankle your toes little bit getting core strength six moving forward and backward seven eight try not to take your glutes up just try to keep your body in one straight line moving forward and backward 9 and 10 okay continue stay in plank get your knees down push the ground chest and chin down now this is ashtang namaskar now if you have known so even namaskar before you know how it is Ash ashtang namaskar inhale to cobra exhale to parvatasan surya namaskar remember surya namaskar has lots of benefit take your one leg forward ashu sanchalana Both the leg parallel, Padma Sasana. Inhale, roll your body up. Exhale and release. Very nice. Continue to round two from the left side. Exhale, join your palm. Inhale, hands up. Stretch to the back. Lengthen your spine. Bend forward and down. Okay. You you will feel the stretch to your back leg muscle here. Okay. Bend your knees. Bend your glutes. Take your one leg back. Ashwasan Chalana. Taking your other leg back. Phalankasana. Okay, again, continue to move forward and backward. Keep your core engaged. Core here means your stomach, your tummy. Okay, you have to pull that abdominal muscle in to get it more stronger and also to tone it up. Keep counting. Keep breathing. Okay, he's almost. He's saying he's at eight, nine. Okay, he's done also, and ten. Now, if you have known our sessions, you know how my counting is. Get your knees down. Push the ground. Chest and chin down. i'm very good at it inhale to cobra i just keep talking 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 and the student gets exhausted exhale to parvat okay taking a one leg forward both the leg parallel inhale all right now round 3 from the right side hello how's it going mohammed good good yes. feeling tired exhausted no, not, not yet okay chalo you can take some water break if you need so yeah. otherwise keep going remember always you can pause the video if you want to get some break get some movement here and there and then you can start because if you have not that stamina of practicing really? yoga exhale round 3 inhale hands up push your hip forward you always remember that you are pushing your hip forward not bending your knees there is an arch of your back there is a natural arch okay bend forward and down bend your knees bend your glutes back take your one leg back another leg back plank position okay now from here from plank position just try and see if you can jump forward getting your feet in between your palms jump forward ha huh, and sit down just get your glutes down and stretch your legs out here we are going to practice our favorite boat pose yes now try to hold this beautiful boat pose as you hold this continue to breathe and try to flap your hands one arm up other arm up one arm up other arm up keep going 3 4 if you want you can keep your knees bent everyone 5 if you have just started practicing 6 core engaged back straight 7 8 9 and 10 okay now keep your feet down without using your hand support try if you can pull yourself back up coming into the ha huh, and get your feet palms down towards your feet and jump back to plank position yes very good now get your knees down continue with the surya namaskar push the ground inhale to cobra exhale to parvat try to keep your press your heels down okay try to stretch your lower back very good pull your upper body towards your lower taking over leg forward both the leg parallel 
back to front inhale roll your body up exhale and release okay round three from the left side exhale inhale stretch to the back bend forward and down take your one leg back ashwasan chalana another leg back plank position okay from here just try to jump forward get your both the feet in between your both the hands sit down get your glutes down stretch your legs out okay from here both the hands up and both the legs down up and down no only both the hands up flip both the arms up and down one all the way up bicep closer to the ear two keep your knees bent yeah. both the hands up three it's okay try both the hands up hand closer to the ha huh, five you have to flip up and down one two now i'm starting three four oh, <sighs> breathe take a breather inhale exhale inhale exhale jump back i, I wanted him to do five more but it's okay he's continuing with the round surya namaskar knees down push the ground chest and chin inhale to cobra remember both poses is a great way to get your complete body move it stretches it stimulates all your organs take a one leg forward ashwasan chalana both the leg parallel now if it is confusing like which leg to take back which leg to take go forward you can choose any leg particularly there is no such thing but as and when you proceed with the practice you should try it with the sides okay so we are done with our round three rounds in total very nice keep it up chalo we are all, all, not even halfway there so please continue exhale is sweating dripping out with lots of sweat particularly man has this ladies don't sweat that much i don't chalo exhale inhale hands up push your hip forward arch your spine very good lengthen your spine bend forward and down try to keep your back as flat as possible now he has been practicing since quite a long time so he has no hunch you might see some hunch in your lower middle back but that's fine slow and steadily you will get that back straight okay get in bend your knees bend your glutes from the right side right leg back take your leg back coming into plank position all right knees down push the ground chest and chin down inhale to cobra bhujangasan exhale to parvatasan now we are going to coming into table top now everyone if you know table top is the reverse plank okay now he is going to transit from parvatasan to the table top he might get off to the mat you can just see get closer to the camera if you are doing for the first time be very careful now try to turn your right foot against your left ha huh. lifting your hand up turning your pushing your glutes up lower body and your finger pointing towards you okay now if your fingers are unable to point towards you you can keep your fingers pointing out also to the side now this will enable you to hold it for longer time if you are especially the beginner but if you are comfortable keeping your fingers in then good hold 5 keep breathing through your nose 4 3 2 try to keep your glutes as high as you can now he is a good practitioner okay now try to come back again so lift your right arm up turn down lifting your glutes up coming into parvatasan very nice i should have used my assistant long back right <laughs> chalo please end the round take one leg forward ashwasan chalana both the leg parallel to padhasthasana roll your body up and release okay round 4 from the left side ready exhale inhale hands up push your hip forward all right take your one leg back left leg back ashu sanchalana now take your right leg back coming into phalankasana okay get your knees down push the ground chest and chin down inhale to cobra exhale to parvat again a transition from mounted pose to the table top you were supposed to 
twist and come up to the tabletop. Please watch it carefully and then do it. Take break if you need. If you can't, you can just come up to from the sitting position also. Five. Drop your head to the back or keep it in neutral position. Four. Lift your back up. Three. Two. And one. Okay. Very nice. Now take your one leg forward. Ashwasan Chalana. Both the leg parallel. Tupadhasthasana. Roll your body up. Exhale and release. Okay. Head on with four. Okay. Yes. Now Good. one more round to remain. Okay. Okay. It's on, right? Yeah. Continuing with round five. Exhale. Join your palms together. Inhale. Hands up, stretch to the back. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, bend forward and down. Take your one leg back. Ashusan Chalana. Now we're just going to add a gentle twist to your body. Okay. So in continue, make sure that your right foot and knee and comes in one straight line. Okay. That is very important for this pose. And your glutes are down. Now you try to just twist. Either lift your left hand up all the way up. Look up to your fingertips. Gentle twist to your back. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Taking your hand down. Taking your leg back. Coming into plank position. Knees down. Push the crown, chest and chin down. Again, come up. Inhale to Cobra. Exhale to Parvat. Okay. Now from Parvatasana. Parvatasana, again we are going to come into the Nokasana. So you lift your both the feet up and try to jump forward. Just try to jump forward. Get your glutes down. Glutes down and stretch your legs out. Coming into boat pose. Boat pose. Boat pose. Hmm. Okay. Hands up if you can. Now we are going to just switch. Our, bend our knee in. One in towards the chest and other out. One knee in, other out. Yes. Very good. Two. Try and see if you can keep your hands up. Bicep closer to the ear. Three, otherwise just stay in front of you. Stretch up. Four, breathe. Six, keep your back straight. Seven, sit up on your hip bone. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, hands down. Lift up. Jump back to Parvatasan. Parvatasan. Okay, now take your one leg forward. Ashutan Chalana. Both the leg parallel to Padasasana. Inhale, roll your body up. Adding variation into Surya Namaskar, you can extremely increase the intensity of your workout. Get your calories burned. It's a great way. Guys, it's a great way. Exhale. Inhale, hands up. It warms up and also it really works as a cardio too. Lengthen your back. It stretches and strengthens also. Okay. Now my assistant is all guided and... Twisting. Take your hand back. Take your leg back. Phalankasana. Knees down. Push the ground. Chest and chin down. Inhale to Cobra. Bhujangasana. Exhale to Parvatasana. Okay. Again, try to jump forward. Lift your heels. Be on your toes. Get your glutes down. Stretch your legs back. Now, anytime if you feel, you can just switch the leg one after the other also okay. and jump and just get forward now start to bend both the knees uh -huh. both the knees in and out okay, yes just keep the hands down. yeah you can two okay. get your knee in all the way towards your chest three sit upright four okay. five okay i'll do this okay okay after five counts you can switch breathe take a two second breather Jump for back to Parvatasana. One leg forward. Asha Sanchalana. After practicing this many rounds, you should get the complete hang of the Surya Namaskar at least. If not the variation. Right? Okay. We are done with the five rounds. Almost halfway there. Woo. Keep it up. How's it going, Mohammed? Good. Good? Good. Yeah. Ready? You I'm want sure. to take some break? Yeah, a little bit. No problem. Just to breathe, breathe move up. just you can just move forward and backward yeah, to your mat also. It's very important. It's very important to get your breath to, to catch your breath also. A little rest in between. Yeah. It's always helpful. Okay, to catch your breath. Okay. 
Yeah. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Five more to go. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Continuing with the front of our mat. Exhale. Join your hands. Inhale. Hands up. Stretch to the back. Push your hip forward. Lengthen your spine. Bend forward and down. Okay. Bend your knees. Bend your glutes. Take your one leg back. Okay. Another leg back. Now we are going to add variation from phalang phalangasana that is the plank position. Simple just a crunches or climber type position. You have to take your right knee to your right elbow and then right to left elbow. Simple first complete the sequence with the right. Right to right, right to left, 2, right to right, right to left, 3, right to right, right to left, 4, right to right, right to left, 5, right to right, right to left, 6. Okay, now with the left, try to move with the left, left to left, left to right, left to left, left to right, one, left to left, left to right, two, left to left, left to right, three, left to left, left to right, four, left to left, left to right, five, get your knees down, push the ground, chest and chin down, here if you notice, just stay for a while, there are eight parts of your body down, your toes, your knees, your chest, your both the palms and both the toes. So, six, seven and your chin, eight. In total, it comes that your eight limbs of your body are down. That is why it is known as Ashtang Namaskar. If you know a bit of Sanskrit, I try to keep using Sanskrit name. Inhale to Bhujangasan. So that eventually you get the hang of the name also. It's, it's good to practice some traditional wise. Parvatasana. Taking your leg forward, Ashu Sanchalana. Put the leg parallel to forward fold. Inhale, roll your body up. Exhale and release. Please ensure that you have a go to mark with your doctor, with your physician, anyone that you can practice Surya Namaskar. Also, if you are a, a patient of uh, high blood pressure, uh, it is advisable that they should not practice Surya Namaskar much because it tends to increase the heart rate a lot. So, please take care about that. Otherwise, it's good to practice Surya Namaskar in general. Exhale from the left side. Inhale, hands up. Lengthen your spine. Bend forward and down. Also, if you have cervical issue, then also you have to take care about it with your neck, especially backward bending and all. Okay, bend your knees, bend your glutes. One leg back. Left leg back. Palankasana. Now start with the left first. Left to left, left to right. Left to left, left to right. Two, left to left left to right three left to left left to right four left to left left to right five starting with the right right to right right to left right to right right to left three right to right right to left four right to right right to left five i was fast no done <laughs> knees down push the ground chest and chin down inhale to cobra exhale to parvat <sighs> Okay, taking your one leg forward, Ashwasan Chalan. Put the leg parallel to Padastasana. Inhale, roll your body up. Exhale and release. All right, done with the round six. Now this we are moving. This for me at least. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because something. it requires a lot of core engagement. Yes, core That's engagement. Right. True. Now moving on to round seven. You only have seven, eight, nine, ten. Four to go. Okay. Exhale, join your hands. Inhale, hands up, stretch to the back. Lengthen your spine, bend forward and down. Bend your knees, bend your glutes. Take your one leg back. Now, this is a full proof proof. This video, if you practice completely, that yoga is not slow. And yoga, you can take the intensity, the level at your fitness goal. It's completely okay. Yoga can be very slow, yoga can be very fast. Take your leg back. You can build all those muscles also. True? Mr. Mohammed? Yes, yes, yes. He agrees now after so many years. Okay. Get your knees down. Uh, all right. Sorry. I missed one thing. Please come up. <laughs> now, we are going to do another variation from Phalankasana. Take your one leg forward, other leg forward. Try to be on your toes. Just coming into a low squat, deep squat. Right leg forward, hmm? left leg forward. Be on your toes. Or, uh, which pose do you want? Malasana. Oh, okay. Huh. But you don't have... It's easy for me. But you don't have to jump, okay. you have to matlab, take okay. your one, one leg forward. Okay, Please start right huh, and left. Okay. Be on your toes, try to be on your toes. I'm on my toes only. 
uh -huh. your complete foot is down you have to be on your toes uh -huh. and then you take your one leg back other leg back right back left back okay right back and left back okay. very good now okay. again okay. yes yes you okay. just have to do it with the sequence okay. wise okay. right forward be on your right toes right okay. foot okay. forward ha huh? yes 10 times left forward ha huh. yes now try to take your right back and left back okay hope everyone gets it right forward right left forward right back left back try to just come on your toes don't get your complete feet down ha huh. i guess we are at four right back left back fifth right forward left forward very good right back left back please try it is a great way no few more counts okay. right back left back right forward left forward right back left back right forward left forward very good it stretches your ankle works on your glutes thighs legs everything knees down okay it's doing okay please continue knees down push the ground chest tension down inhale to cobra exhale to parvat okay all now all these asanas just give you a break from the variation i suppose take your one leg forward put the leg parallel inhale hands up and release okay round 7 from the left side yes so dripping out with sweat okay the pretty face is covered up with all the sweat chalo remember to take break whenever you need if you want to okay. pause if it is too much for you if you are not so much of used to of surya namaskar you can take a break try doing it tomorrow maybe in the evening or maybe in the later period of the day completely up to you but complete the video you will have lots of fun chalo round 7 from the left we are not done exhale inhale hands up push your hip forward lengthen your spine bend forward and down bend your knees bend your glutes take your one leg back another leg back plank position now please start with the left toes and right toes very good left back right back continue left right left right three back forward and back forward and back forward and back hello i think we are counting or we are not counting 6 7 please try to do at least 8 to 10 counts okay knees down push the ground chest and chin down inhale to cobra exhale to parvat all right take your one leg forward ashwin sanchalan ending the round of round 7 both the leg parallel to padasasana roll your body up and exhale and release okay we are done with seven rounds guys 8 9 and 10 only three to go yes please start now something the variation which he'll be so happy to do it because that's his go to thing exhale inhale hands up push it forward lengthen your spine bend forward and down Yes, take your one leg back. Ashu Sanchalana, keeping your palm palm firmly down to the ground. Try to keep your front leg, knee and ankle in one straight line. So remember, some people get the front knee so much bent that they cause pressure to the front leg. But here is the pressure to your thighs, your quad, your quad. Sorry. Okay. Try to keep your glutes as down as possible. This knee you can either keep down if you want to challenge yourself. You can keep it off to the floor. Okay. Please continue. Take your leg back. plank position now we are going to do push up now if you have done push up before you can go without the knee getting down otherwise just try with the knee first get your knee down and go for a push up guys 1 2 3 4 5 you can do it for five also it's completely fine three but if you're completely new to the push up you can just see the position of your his elbow okay yeah the elbow should to, should not be on he will guide much better and, uh, it should not be on uh, at 90 degree it should be somewhere around 40 to 55 degree like 45 degree is the best for next thing uh, when you go down uh, you are supposed to breathe in when you come up you are supposed to breathe out just like when you swim in swimming when we go down we breathe in and then we go under the under the water and then when you come up we breathe out right so like this you need to have a lot of core strength 
See, like this. I'm and your glutes must be strong for that also. Okay, so now I'm coming into the Palangasana plank position, right? Hmm. Okay. Now you can continue with Surya Namaskar. If it is too difficult, just try to be on your toes. Move your body forward and backward. It's completely okay for the start. Pujangasana. Exhale to Parvatasana. Okay, take your one leg forward. Ashu Sanchalana. Both the leg parallel to Padhasthasana. Inhale, roll your body up. Exhale and release. Okay, round eight. From the left side. Exhale. Hands up. Push the hip forward. And then your spine bend forward and down. Take your one leg back. Another leg back. Knees now down. The uh, toe push up. Okay. okay. Now he's trying with the toe push up. If you are a good practitioner of a push up, you can always try. Otherwise, See, you can one, keep your uh, knee down. Five toe push up, and if you are very new, then you won't be able to do knee push up. Instead. Yes. In that right. case, you are supposed to do child pose, child pose to push up like this. Yes, just pushing your glutes back towards your heel and try to go down towards the ground. Try not to let your chest chin down. Just focusing on your arms. You require a lot of arm strength. You require a complete body strength to do the push-up as a matter of fact. So, just try and be at your own pace. No need to rush. One thing, one day at a time. Okay. Push the ground. Chest in. Inhale. Ashu Sanchalana. Both the leg. Roll your body up, exhale and release. All right. We are just two rounds away from this beautiful workout to get over. <sighs> Please continue. Yeah, I just... The last round is just for the leg movement, for your core, for your back strength. Take some water, break if you need. Can I do a child pose? Yeah, you can take a child pose. You can stretch out a bit if you want. Remember to always stretch, always take relaxation. You can keep your knees wide out, try to keep both the toes towards each other, push your glutes back. If you are complete beginner to even this pose, your glutes will be a little slightly above yeah. your heel. Huh? It's completely okay. Just stay wherever you are, be comfortable. Remember to breathe. Try to walk with your fingers as forward as you can. Try to release your forehead down and breathe. Long deep breaths in. And breathe out. Once again. Okay, please continue. Not at all easy, okay? But you can always try. Yeah. You can always try and build your strength. It's never easy at start. Nothing is easy in life, right? So it's okay to start to practice and to get the hang of it. Just do Surya Namaskar. Just focus on learning Surya Namaskar first. It's completely okay. <laughs> yeah, if you are completely uh, doing it, you will uh, tend to burn a lot of calories. Okay, okay please continue. Round it. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, hands up. And then your spine bend forward and down. Bend your knees, bend your glutes. Take your one leg back. Ashu Sanchalana. Put the leg back. Plank position. Knees down. Push the ground, chest and chin down. Inhale to Cobra. Bhujangasana. So now this is not upward facing dog. Many people confuse it with the upward facing dog. Upward facing uh, dog is quite different. Here it's a cobra pose. You have to keep your shoulder relaxed away from your ear. Elbows bent towards your rib cage. And just either you can keep your just show half baby push up also. Hmm? Just get your uh, navel down. Just chest and uh, head up. Huh? This is a complete for the beginner. Just do this baby push, uh, baby bhujangasana. It's okay. Then exhale and you try to lift up. Be on your toes. Try to switch your body up. Let all the weight come to your lower back. Lift up. Get your heels down. Press the heel down. Now, okay. Now you just try to lift up. L go forward, sorry. And lie down on your back. Lie down on your back. Oh. Lying down after a while. Yeah. Get your hands. You can get your hands under your back, under your glutes. Now we are going to do the simple leg raise. Okay. Everyone can do it. It's very easy. It's doable. Especially if you get your hands under your back, you get some support. Try to lift both the legs up in 90 degree. Remember to keep your foot flex. Now foot flex means toes pointing in towards you. To get a stretch to your leg muscle, back leg muscle. Exhale down. Exhale down. 
inhale hands up sorry legs up 10 counts 2 breathe in and breathe out continuously and down 3 and down 4 and down 5 and down keep your head sh okay. shoulder relax done right 5 5 plus 5 yeah done yes. 5 okay try to lift up use your strength lift up get your knees bent ha huh, lift up normally ha huh, ha huh. okay. and go back to parvatasan parvatasan remember you can either add variation from parvatasan and phalangasan okay. usually we add variation from the phalang and the parvatasan then we end the round okay coming back to the same pose and take your one leg forward ashu sanchalana both the leg parallel to padasasana roll your body up and release all right going for left side round nine keep it up guys if you are doing along with us then hats off you have been uh, doing it since more than 30 minutes i guess 40. 40 minutes yeah but we are talking and taking a break a lot so approx you will need 40 45 minutes to complete this complete sequence okay exhale inhale hands up push your hip forward lengthen your spine okay take your one leg back ashu sanchalana another leg back plank position knees down push the ground chest and chin down inhale to cobra exhale to parvat okay now try to lift your toes up and try to jump if you can otherwise just go with your one one leg forward go down lie down on your mat get your hands under now we are again adding one variation now try to lift both the legs up first huh. and try to swap your leg one leg going down another leg going coming up yes very nice try to keep your knees slightly straight you can bend also completely do it slow, slow. Like Caesar Caesar uh, uh, not exactly Caesar. This is not Caesar. This is just swapping your leg forward, up and down. Go up to eight, to eight, eight to ten counts, six to seven minimum, please. Try at least this much. Okay, then again lift up. Go back to your parvatasana. Now all this parvat and phalanx and bhujang and all everything should come at like this after practicing so many variations. But again, depends on your level, which level you are at. Hands up. Exhale and release. Okay. Now. Now, every one half round basically, try to clean this. out your sweat. <laughs> it's a complete workout. You will get all your calories burned and everything in one, just 40 45 minutes. Sure. Remember to do some kind of warm up before you start. Yeah, I actually I did it. Okay. Uh, so it's very important to do a five minute at least warm up with whatever you want to yes. do. Yes. Okay. Warm up is very important. So, child pose, cobra poses, then greatest stretch, um, cat and cow most important. True. Do shoulder mobility something. Okay. So, Exhale. Yeah. Join your hands. Yeah. Inhale, hands up. Push your hip forward. Lengthen your spine. Bend forward and down. Okay, take your one leg back. Ashu Sanchalana. Another leg back. Plank position. Get your knees down. Push the crown, chest and chin down. Inhale to Cobra. Exhale to Parvat. All right. Take your one leg forward. Ashu Sanchalana. Okay, we will lie down after this and then. Okay, now you just try to take both the leg forward. And then you bend your knees, bend your glutes. Almost at the end of the session, at the end of the round, we are doing. Go down, lie down on your back. Okay. Huh. Now just lie down. Now we are going to do. Uh, just try to do the leg raise also. Uh, if you are unable to do this, leg raise, and we are going to try to lift the glutes up now. So you again get your hands under your glute under your back. Try to lift your body up. Try to lift your glutes up. Yes. Up. Inhale up, and exhale down. Ten counts. Try to go. Two three let your glutes all the way come up try to switch your body weight towards your upper body towards your upper back try to lift your middle lower back lower back at least 
If you are unable to do this, please continue with the leg raise. So, this is 10. You're done with 10? Yeah. Okay, now just try to lift your leg up and hold. Get your glutes all the, all the way up and support your lower back. S glutes up. Hmm. Support your lower back or your glutes with your hands. No, you have to support it like this. Try to grab your waist. Huh. Hold. Now, as and when you practice and your uh, back get more flexible, you'll be able to keep it straight. Otherwise, you can just continue with the glutes up. So now I complete the. Now just complete the round. Okay, just one more round. Ten, yeah. Tenth round from the left side. We have not done. Yeah. So just complete it with no variation. A bonus for everyone. Just to stretch. Get your. Catch your breath. Exhale. Hands up. Push your hip forward. Lengthen your spine. Bend forward and down. Bend your knees, bend your glutes, one leg back, another leg back, knees down, push the ground, chest and chin down, inhale to cobra, exhale to parvat, take your one leg forward, put the leg parallel, inhale, exhale, very nice, keep it up, yes. So I think it's around 45 session. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. It will take 45 minutes because we have been talking and uh, discussing okay. and guy, uh, just uh, chit chatting a lot. Around 48 minutes in my watch, I have almost burned 480 calories. Okay. Wow, that's nice. Continuous burn 150, 160. Uh, if you guys don't know me, uh, I'm a asthmatic patient since childhood. Hardly matters. Nothing happens. Uh, when my uh, my heart rate also sometimes goes 180, 190 goes. It doesn't make any difference to me now because of years and years of practice. We, I, whatever I do, when I do extreme uh, intensity of cardio, if I work out, it doesn't uh, make any difference to me. I don't get any attacks. Okay, so don't worry if you're asthmatic patient. Okay, now just now remember to stretch out a bit. Do continue to keep your legs wider, both the heels in one line, huh? And just stretch down. First, you can stretch upward and down. Huh. Remember to keep your palms in line with your feet so that you are not uh, you are not sh shifting your body forward. Huh. If you are flexible, little bit flexible, you, you will be able to touch the ground. Otherwise, you can stay as much as you can. Try to keep your knee straight. Knee must be straight. Now it's fine. Hmm. Okay. Try and see if you can drop your elbow down if you are a bit. That's nothing. Hold okay. Just hold and breathe. Okay, slowly get your feet back together towards each other. Huh. Inhale, roll your body up. Exhale and release. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching here. Uh, remember to subscribe us uh, at Nutrilife Yoga. And uh, I hope you are checking out everything that we do and enjoying along with us. Thank you and stay healthy and fit. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that was a video, guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about it. Please don't forget to follow us on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow us on NutriLife and NutriLife Yoga. And also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.